goodness. This is Pat Bamber here for PSB Sports. I'm at Wembley Arena here for Ohara Davis versus Andrea Scarpa. And finally, I ran into <laughs> Anthony Yard. I've wanted to interview this guy for ages, but he's finally here. How are you, my friend? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing well, doing well. Firstly, congratulations on the victory last night. Give me your thoughts on the victory. Um, well, it was a, meant to be a step up in the opponent. Yeah. Um, he had 22 wins, um, only 10 losses, and he had, he had knocked out 10 of his opponents. Um, in boxing, sometimes you get caught. He's got caught, caught him with a good body shot. Um, I blinded him to the head and then threw the left hook quite quick and hard. So, yeah. um, I think I've done the job in it. So Absolutely. Kind of you know what, though? Talk to you about you, you, you fought at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Massive. Yeah. Talk to you about that experience. <laughs> Unbelievable. They paid in front of 100,000 yesterday yeah. in Thanksgiving in America and you fought there. Can you believe that? That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's an amazing accomplishment. Um, some people haven't you know, understood how big that was for a young kid that had 12 amateur fights. No um, international like, fight for GB or anything like that experience. And to go to Dallas in only your eight professional fight, for your eight professional fight, and get a first round knockout over someone from Texas. <laughs> It was massive. I met um, massive people over there. I met the guy that owned um, the stadium. The, the Cowboys himself, Jerry yeah. Jones. Jones. Yeah. I met um, all the Golden Boy team, and all of them that were there. Yeah. Canelo recognized before when he came to England. So it's all big, just steps of inspiration. So it all motivates you and keeps you going. And then getting the win as well in the fashion I did it, it's all motivating. Absolutely. Uh, Anthony, talk to you about. Um, the uh, next year, 2017, that's going to be a big, big year for you because you know we're seeing you progress nicely, yeah. and now 2017 is going to be a big year for you. What can your fans expect next year? Um, you know, big things. Always progress. You know, I don't really watch what anyone else is doing. Um, to stay in my own lane and st stay progress on my own time. Um, I've got a team behind me as well. That um, I've got managers. I've got a promoter, and. Um, they're doing their job, I'm doing my job. My job's to go in there, keep winning how I'm winning. You know, there's a lot of people that fight, these, um, they call them journeymen, but they're not stopping them and knocking them out in the fashion I'm doing it. I'm not even going on the but I'm just saying that a lot of people have been criticised and saying I'm not fighting these people, I'm not fighting that people. Um, a guy, Jake Paul, fought today, it was meant to be a step up and he had a misfortunate um, situation. Again, not really watching anyone else, but again, that's for me to look at and learn from. Obviously, I believe in my talents more than I believe in anyone else's talents, but I have to see things. And it's like the more and more people are edging onto me, getting into my saying, oh, um, take this fight, or do this, do that, do that. It's not their career, it's mine. Exactly. And that's what I've learned from seeing Jake Wu today. On the other hand, now, I've seen my boy, my brother, that we, I see him. He was there when I first started boxing, Ahara Davis. Now he's a WBC silver champion. That is massive. And that's when this is, this is a little dedication to Ahara Davis, the dumbest thing today. Absolutely, a hard day. It was a huge victory. Talk to me a bit about that, in fact, over Andrea Scarpa. Andre, yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrea Scarpa had a lot to say at the press conference. Yeah. And um, yeah, when they came face to face, you were 121 away. And Ahura Davis put on a real clinic. Clinic. He won every round. Every round. And to come in um, in your 13th fight, to fight for that belt, um, to win every round, you know, not really, never really looked in any trouble. He got caught with a few shots, but it's boxing. But he never ever looked in any trouble. Come out from the beginning, took the fight. You know, that, that, that takes, that's a champion. Everyone sees that in history. You see champions, and Bahari Davis is a true champion. Absolutely, and obviously, BT Sport Box Nation. Uh, pretty massive. Massive deal. <laughs> That's going to be huge for you, isn't it? Especially for the young fighters. Think about, you know, Lerone Richards, you know, just yourself, you know, some of uh, Boy Jones Jr., some of the young fighters, Box Nation and Frank Warren have, you know, and now you're going to be part of that, uh, you know, 30 live shows a year now, uh, BT Spoon Box Nation. Box Nation Box Office as well now has been launched. Yeah. So, you know, what a platform for young guys like you. I can see you're getting excited massive, already. Massive. You know, every, as um, Tony Ajay, my trainer says, everything's timing. Yeah. And again, we're not looking at what anyone else is doing, we're looking at what we're doing. And I believe right now, I'm on the right path to get to my dreams. That's to become world champion. How I get there, you know, to be that I don't really care. <laughs> but I, I want to become a world champion. That's what my focus is. But it's, it's all step by step. Whether that's going through the English, Southern area, British, it don't really matter. Um, I would love to fight for the British because representing my country. Mm. But um, the end result is to become world champion. Obviously, sorry, last week, give me your thoughts on Kovalev Ward um, last week. Fact. Yeah. That was a that was a good fight. But a light heavyweight fight. That's my weight class. Um, Andre Wood, everyone's saying this, it was controversial. It was controversial because Kovalev was a champion, but if Wood was a champion, there would have been no question about who won. 
um, Wool got dropped in the second round, but then after that, what did Kovalev do? Yeah. So it's boxing to 12 round fight. If you if you um if you score it round by round instead of going by uh, who got the best punches in or anything like that, if you score it round by round, you would have given it to Andrew Wood. If you score it by there's no rounds involved and you see see uh, who who won the fist fight, you might have given it to Kovalev. So you can see where there's um, a little dispute, but I gave it to Wood. Yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. And to your Pleasure to interview you. I've been waiting, waiting for a while, but finally, we're here. congratulations once again on, um, on the victory last night. Hopefully, a very successful 2017 for yourself and Box Nation. Thank you, thank you. You too. All the best. Cheers.